man oh man oh man oh robot vacuum cleaners are getting cheaper every day it seems like pro scenic 820s robot vacuum cleaner right here with wi-fi connectivity alexa control smart mapping auto boost suction with 1800 pascal max suction uh, that pascal measurement uh, is a measurement of pressure that's how that's done a 600 milliliter large dust box which is kind of true it's got a lar large dust bin compared to other thin uh, robot vacs on the market and then you get self-charging it can take care of your hardwood floors carpets and pet hair and all that good stuff and this is the unboxing of it and as you noticed it come with the uh, brushes and everything you only get two of those you get the charging station uh, the adapter itself uh, and all that goodness and there, there's some sensors underneath that robot vac as well that can uh, help not go down some stairs so don't worry about that but you just get one set of brushes here uh, they snap on pretty easy you do get a brush under there you get a remote uh, which has all the functions that the app has on it so that's a good thing um, the brush uh, that comes with it is mounted in the bottom of the box here and it can actually take care of cutting out the hair and all that good stuff which we saw that earlier and here's the adapter uh, which is a long skinny cord uh, there were some charging bricks that existed on these things in the past but uh, make sure to remove the foam bumper guards and here is the unit underneath um, you can see the silicone with the uh, brushes the bristles and stuff like that so it should be able to swoop and sweep up everything uh, underneath it and take care of all that goodness for you. you got some high rise wheels there with some good spring which we'll go over later but it will create a good suction between the floor and the robot uh, which is a good thing a little wheel in the front there uh, like I said there are some sensors to the left and right of the robot the bumpers are the front half of the robot the exhaust is on the side and there's that super high clearance that you can get it's crazy like an inch and a half plus uh, it can uh, hurdle <laughs> which is kind of crazy we'll go over even more of that later but uh, the bumper system some of the sensors there and stuff um, it's not going to fall downstairs like I mentioned earlier um, but uh, yeah it's just a great little unit and the bin pops right out of the back with directions everywhere on how to handle the thing and you do get a two filter system on here it's sort of like a HEPA type filter uh, with a large particle filter underneath that that can catch a lot of things and uh, save you some money but that swings down there and it's got a little flap that prevents stuff from falling back out of that hole once you pull it uh, out to go dump it you don't want to uh, litter trash everywhere across the floor you just claim that helps there's your suction uh, there that creates that flow that suction flow through there that pulls air through those vents there and allows the debris to come in in front of that uh, but yeah there's your two filtration systems there so yeah it looks good and the little prongs there um, you can see the word will charge and go right on the charger like that and uh, make sure to charge this thing completely before you use it for the first time and that will stop pulsating in the middle and you get a power that in the middle and in a Wi-Fi indicator here's the app so download the app from the booklet uh, it'll give you directions how to get to it pick your model there's all the models they do have and I'm excited to test out um, all the models that they have I hope I get the opportunity to do that and this is after a cleaning and you can see that the controls across the bottom are exact ones that are on the remote if you need to see that there it is uh, clean for over a half hour max suction and then there's a map of what it did uh, and here it is coming off the base uh, do when you hear this audibly it is on max suction so it comes off and it does the zigzag like lawnmower pattern I'm the biggest fan of that I don't like the Roomba random all over the place stuff that used to exist on these things and you just hope it passes over um, the spot but this will guarantee you almost get it all and I say almost get it all because we're gonna go over what it doesn't do which isn't a lot so really you know currently you get a $30 off coupon right now on the link uh, down in the YouTube description and that'll bring you to 169 for this thing which is crazy and you can see that it's gonna go back and pick up where it left off on this little section the second half down there and then start right back there is no laser mapping so it's kind of doing this off its I guess its wheels or movement 
or something like that where it knows where it's at because the wheel got caught once before in the past and on the map on the app you can see where it just went nuts and crazy and strung out to the side but i think it has something to do with the wheels and it just kind of it's like a blind robot feeling around and knows where it's been and where it needs to go and it does a decent job of going back this is the part you need to look at comes in some flour down there it doesn't matter it doesn't get it all that it's not going to the point is keep your eye fixated on where it just left from and where it's going to come back to and you end up with a triangle right there that it just doesn't get if it would turn move forward a little bit and then turn again it might get all the way up against the edge As you can see it misses about a three inch um, by a two inch triangle there that it will miss all along the side but it has fantastic edging so you can always turn the edge around like this and go this is a baby gate uh, that we have up uh, to keep the topper out and it kind of scoots along like it doesn't read that as a solid wall the gate the sensors on the front doesn't so that's why it's going left right left right back and forth like that but whenever it gets next to a solid wall that's when the edging ability really shines and it can do some fantastic edging like it can run parallel with the wall close to it and those brushes will turn it's some of the best edging that i've seen on the robot back yeah i mean just the edging on this thing is just marvelous to look at you put some obstacles uh, in its path even plastic bags which would normally snag on some units that have in the past and this is able to maneuver around the shape of the bags itself and really do a fantastic job of edging. It's just fun to watch um, how well this thing can navigate around, especially for its price. Uh, but anyway, uh, this thing is about three quarters of an inch thick and it has a bunch of grooves and divots throughout it. And look at the beast mode. This is crazy, those springy wheels. This is able to really create an awesome balance for this thing to hurdle crazy objects that no other robot vac can get over so that is very impressive look at those wheels and they ha are super springy they push back uh, but yet they allow it to sit down and suction the floor uh, over carpet it can uh, do it it can nail medium pile carpet i wouldn't go past that but it can do it and it's edging right now i just put it on edging to show uh, its carpet ability and stuff it does great uh, you can see some obstacles out there for it to go around it look how it's edging and, it, and it's keeping itself you know maybe a half inch or so from the wall and letting the brushes in front of it that stick out past the robot do the work and kick some things toward it it doesn't do that well around baby gates but that's just no surprise because it's kind of wanting to find a wall and once you hit a true wall like this it's doing what it's supposed to be doing and that's great it's not going to scuff up the side of your wall because it's grinding down the side of it um so yeah and even you know chair legs and stuff like that uh it maneuvers around those great um with no issues at all because look at how many legs it had to navigate around three ottomans sofa two chairs and it comes out shining uh like something brand new on Christmas morning. I couldn't think of anything to say. But here's the trash bin after this run. And this, you know, had some of the um, uh, powder and stuff in there, which it didn't need to suck all that up. It was just to try to find out where it was missing uh, on its passes and stuff. I knew it wouldn't be able to do it because that's just, you know, difficult to suck up even with a uh, powered vacuum, you know. So um, they got a pretty much a full load out of this thing uh, sometimes you will have to reach your fingers in there and get something if it's just hair uh, sometimes it's hard to kick it out but uh, most of the time it'll clump up together and weight itself out and fall out um, and I was surprised that the filter did not really get dirty the pre-filter which is made to catch larger particles kind of caught majority of everything and you can see that right here um, so surprising enough that will prolong the life of your little paper filter so that's cool on their part to design it like that uh, I know some creators who uh, want you to burn through those filters you know what I'm saying cha-ching so in closing this is a fantastic robot it's not a laser it's mapping it's kind of is as smart as it possibly can be while reducing the cost 
So I don't think we've seen the last of ProSync. They're popular uh, outside of America. This is their first push into America that I know of, and they're bringing a fleet that they've used overseas, and I'm impressed at this entry-level model, and I really do want to get my hands on uh, their most sophisticated unit so I could really see what it can do because if this thing can um, be really highly recommended by me, which it is, I can't wait to see the other units. And some of the other units actually can mop the floor and stuff. So as long as it's vacuuming. So that's pretty crazy. I mean, I respect the company already. And I really just can't wait to look forward to see where they end up. So make sure to follow the link in the YouTube description to see this thing. And also all the specs that I probably missed. Um, but I hope I give you a good idea of what you might be buying. And make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that bell so you get notified of the next product that I got coming that's actually affordable and fantastic all at the same time. See ya. Whoa, I almost forgot. It'll wander around until it gets a line of sight of the station and then it can make itself back. So make sure to put it in a okay spot so it can find it. That's all, bye bye.